Let's learn about R Studio. If you're new to R, this is where you're gonna do all your coding. This is the software that you're seeing on the screen right now. It's not difficult to use. I'm gonna walk you through it. My name is Greg Martin. Let's do this. Boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. The first thing that you'll notice is that there are four quadrants. The top left-hand quadrant is your source. This is where you write and execute your code. Beneath that is the console. This is where the outputs of your code land. The top right-hand corner is your environment. This is where you'll be able to see any data objects that you're working with, a data set, for example, or you may have created a variable or a vector. You'll see those in the environment. And beneath that, at the bottom on the right, there's a panel that has a couple of tabs. The first one that we're gonna look at is file. In that, you're gonna find all of the files that you're working with. It might be data sets that you're using. It might be code that you've saved. This is your working directory. Next to that, we've got a tab called plots and you'll be able to see plots that you create there. And next to that, we've got help and we're gonna have a look at how to use the help function in just a second. So how do we get started? Well, the first thing you do is you create a file and it's in that file that you're gonna write your code and save it. So let's look at how to do that. If we go to file at the top on the left and click on new file, R script, you'll see a new tab emerges here, and this is the file in which you can write and save your code. Now you'll notice that at this point in time, it's called untitled. That just means we haven't saved it yet. So we need to go to file, save as, and give it a name. And now this file is called test one, and you'll see at the bottom on the right in our files, in our working directory, there's a new file that we can see there called test one. And of course, if you go into files, you can click on any of the files and open them up, and the code that you wrote previously will be sitting right there. And I'm gonna use this code to illustrate how it is that RStudio works. If you put a hashtag in front of anything, that line of code won't run, which is nice because you can use it to type a little message about what the, the following code might be doing. Now, the basics of coding, and this isn't gonna be a lesson about coding, this is really about RStudio, but just so that you know, the basics of coding is that R uses functions and objects. It applies a function to an object. So let's have a look at a very basic function, and that is if I run the, and I'll just push Control Enter here, run the line data, and when we run that command, we can see that R has provided us with a list of data sets that are built into R that you can use to practice your coding. Very useful indeed. One of these data sets is called check weight. So let's have a look at what we can do with check weight. Again, remembering that R works with functions and objects. So we're gonna apply the function view to the data object check weights. And if we run that code, control enter, we view this data set. Now, here is a fantastic trick, and you're gonna love this. If you put a question mark in front of something in R, and in this case, check weights, the data set, control enter, on the bottom, on the right, right, we can see the help function, the help tab has opened up, and we get a whole lot of information about that particular thing. In this case, it's a data object. If I go up here and I do the same thing with mean, that's another function, here's a whole lot of information about that function. You'll notice that as we've been executing code, that code is actually popped into the console beneath, and that's really where the code is being run from. And if there was an output from the code, let's say, for example, we added some numbers up and there was a solution, that would pop into the console as well. Now, I talked about the fact that in the environment, we have data objects, right? If we create a variable, it'll pop there. And this is how we create a variable. We use this little assign, it's a little arrow, right? So if I say average weight, right? And what are, we, what are we assigning to that? Well, we're taking the function mean and we're applying it to the check weight data set and in particular, the weight variable, the little dollar sign there tells us which variable we're gonna use. If we control enter and run that, you'll see in the environment, we've got a new data object, which is that variable. Now we can use that data object, average weight, and we can add something to it. Let's say average weight plus five and boom shakalaka, there's the answer down there in the console. So you can see exactly how the source and the console work together. And here's a little line of code that just uses the function plot and plots check weight weight against check weight time. Those are two of the variables in that data set. And boom shakalaka, there's your little plot. A couple of extra tips and tricks. If you go to tools up here and go to global options, you can change the look and feel by going to appearance and choose from a number of different possible looks that you could have there. You can also change the size of the different fonts. And that, my friends, is the basics of R Studio. I've got lots of videos on coding and how to create graphics and how to work with data. So watch those videos. I hope you found this useful. Don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Boom shakalaka, bye.